time turns and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. Indoor percussion, a highly athletic musical performance that highlights the abilities of all its players. Ranging from snare drum to marimba, each player gets to show off their intense book while putting on a performance to an audience. Played on a well-designed floor, indoor percussion grasps the attention of the audience with their visually appealing aspects, such as specific movements that demand attention. Now, Bluff City Indoor. We were an independent group, meaning we did not compete, we just performed. It was a balancing act of meeting new, yet phenomenal players from around the Memphis area, such as Bartlett, Carrieville, and Christian Brothers, and learning all about their own styles and techniques. Everybody was phenomenal at um, what they did. In our 2022 show entitled Legend, we explore a sense of wonder and grandeur focusing on fantasy tales and games we grew up with and how they shaped our childhood leading into adulthood. The show and music were not only intense, but it pushed all of us to our highest potentials. We even had a few players that were on instruments they had never played before, though a majority had been playing their instruments for a bit of time. Each instrument contributes to the music in their own ways. Sense play samples, which are computer generated audio specifically made to be a part of a show. Uh, they are played by programming and setting the sample on the keys on the board, and they need to be played at a certain time. We also have what was called rack, which was a group of accessories needed throughout the movement, such as gong, toms, and cymbals. The drum set is slightly similar, um, but just they don't have the extra accessories. Both of these are very important, and as for front, they keep time when we aren't with the drumline. Marimba, vibraphone, bells, and xylophone um, are the board instruments of front ensemble, and they look similar to a giant piano. They're played with mallets ranging from yarn to plastic, uh, just depending on your instrument. In indoor front ensemble music is very complicated and intricate. It is designed around the purpose of the show, but it's typically written to push the players. Personally, I found the music a bit difficult, but with the time I put in, I eventually got to the point where I could play the music a lot easier. Now for drumline. They did the marching in the group. Our drumline consisted of snare drums, bass drums, and tenors. In professional groups, though, they typically have a cymbal line. Drumline is incredibly important to help stay in time as they all play their own roles in making sure they stay in time as well as keeping front ensemble in time. They do a lot of work outside of practices to make sure they're consistently keeping with tempo as though to hopefully not produce a tear in the time frame of the show. All of the hard work put in from every individual drumline and front ensemble member paid off, translating into entertaining ourselves and others when we weren't specifically focused on the music. I think honestly, my best takeaway was meeting all the new people, all the people from Collierville and Bartlett and all the other schools, and it was really just a great opportunity to make friends. I'd say we always had lots of fun at rehearsals. There was always this energy in the air that made everyone still want to be there despite the discipline. We had so many fun moments that solidified that the time was worth putting in. With this kind of extracurricular, you build bonds for a long time. You build a family. It's like a sport. The members of percussion are like your teammates and it's such a worthy experience. I can attest for more than likely everyone when I say the memories created through music are worth keeping and Bluff City Indoor did just that for me and many others. Personally, I really loved practices and competitions. Even though we only had two competitions, they both were a very memorable aspect of the season. Competitions are always intense, whether it be for marching band, for a regular concert band, or for indoor percussion. There's this anticipation awaiting in the air. It's the anticipation of getting able to show more than just your group what you've accomplished so far. It's exhilarating. Our scores weren't the best, but that really wasn't the point of the show. That's the thing about an indoor indoor show, even like a marching band show. It's it's a show. It's It's not really about the scores, it's about putting on a show for the people watching. The purpose of indoor is to allow others to be a part of a group bigger than themselves. With practices, we slowly got to accomplish this, every rep, every run, and every hour put into the show. The practices slowly started to come together, especially when we would do a full run at the end of every practice. It was so intriguing to see how much the group was improving, and it's such a nice feeling to know all of the hard work and effort is for the benefit of not only for yourself, but for others. Indoor has been a great opportunity for me to experience what it's like to be in the front ensemble. And it's a great way to make new friends with people from other schools and overall it's a very fun experience for me at least. Um, being at Indoor has really shown me just how much goes into being in the front ensemble with all these various different uh, percussion instruments and sounds being played at the same time. 
Our season sadly was cut short. With the players from Carville, it was difficult for them to always get to practice right at 5.30. They had their own band practices immediately after school and it's quite the drive for them. I would go there at like 5, I would leave at like 8.30, 8, 8, 8 8.30, be home by 9, 9.30. And it would just be a whole like problem. This produced a massive time constraint because sometimes they wouldn't be able to do warm-ups which put a dent in our performance etiquette. This put us at a disadvantage because we didn't always have properly warmed up players. We also had kids that had their own underlying situations which prevented them from always attending practices. This put a dent in us producing a well-practiced show. This in turn made one of our instructors decide on not finishing the season. And make sure that what you want to do um, uh, aligns with others and that being said I probably would not trade it for anything because the people that I met there were absolutely amazing. Overall it was a very productive very well managed season. Everyone learned about themselves about their instruments and about each other. I'm so grateful for the memories I was able to make and I'm so grateful for how much I learned about myself as a person and a player. Doing indoor has been one of the best experiences of my life and I would do it again in a heartbeat. I've come out as a much better person with friends I'll always be able to hold on to. Thank you to all the players and especially all the instructors. I'm forever indebted to your time and efforts put in for everyone in the season.